guys. Uh, John Murdoch again. Um, we're here on uh, on one of our buses to go through the pre-trip and the tablet with everybody uh, as part of our summer training. Um, we're going to walk through how to use the, the tablet on a pre-trip, student check, and post-trip. And um, we'll give you some, some of the issues that we've uh, learned over the year, uh, some of the things we've been having troubles with. Um, so to start with, uh, we're going to get on our bus in the morning. Uh, the bus needs to be on. In this case, I have it running, uh, but it just needs to be on. I need to have electric um, for the uh, zone R to get to the cloud. I'm going to turn my tablet on. Uh, it's a good idea at night to turn them off. It is wired so that when the key's off, it will not charge. And so the tablet only charges when we're in operation. So it will not draw your battery down overnight. If you're having battery issues, let us know. Um, it's probably something else because this is key to the ignition side of the switch. Um, so we're going to turn our tablet on. Um, and if we're not turning it off every night, I would recommend at least on Fridays to remember, but I just do it every night. Um, we're going to get a login screen. screen. Um, this is going to be your ID you're using for Queen Anne's County. Um, so whatever you use when you log into Safe Schools, you're going to use to log into your zone on. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use my ID, and then the pen entry is going to be 1234, that's universal for everybody. Uh, we're going to log in, and we're logged in. Um, in, in this case, you'll notice the, that I have my red triangle, says my last inspection was incomplete. Uh, most of the time you won't have that. Uh, we were doing a training previously and uh, we didn't finish our previous inspection here. Um, if I want to know who's logged in, I can hit the little man icon and it tells me that John's logged in. The middle button takes me back home. Um, I can adjust my brightness settings, uh, daylight, half, whatever. Um, I can use a clock when I'm going down the road. If I uh, want to see a, see a clock while I'm driving, uh, it's handy just to keep your time. But uh, we're going to go and go ahead and do an EBRA inspection, um, Electronic Verification Inspection Report. And um, this takes place of our paper pre-trip and post-trips. Um, it's mandated by the state of Maryland that we do these. Uh, so everybody has to do one on their bus every day. Um, so we're going to go ahead and walk through so I've logged in. Once I've logged in, this tablet will remember me for 30 days. So I now no longer need to communicate with the cloud. So I can turn the bus off. And I can still do my pre-trip, even with the bus off. So we're going to go ahead and start our pre-trip. And we're going to hit for my electronic verification inspection report. And we're going to hit start new inspection. Start new inspection. We're going to use a uh, pre trip continue and it's going to ask me to scan my location. So it's asking for what bus I'm on, and it's the black tab usually in the front of the bus. We're going to hold that over there. It has the last report comes up that was done on the bus, and of course, I said it was incomplete, so the only thing we checked last time was the brakes. So I verified the last inspection and I'm going to hit continue. It's going to ask me for my mileage of my vehicle. I'm going to put in my mileage, continue, and now I have my 14 zones. There's going to be four zones inside the bus. One zone for the front of the bus, a zone for the back of the bus, a zone at each tire, and one under my hood. Um, to do your zones, you're going to hold the tablet over the yellow tabs, which are placed various places around the bus. Um, uh, once you get used to it, it'd, it'll be a very quick operation. Until you get used to it, we can hit the scan help up here, and that's going to put a yellow circle on my screen, and I'll hold that yellow circle right over this yellow circle, and my first zone comes up, which is entering the bus. And it's going to have my first aid kit, body cleaning kit, my fire extinguisher, uh, 
floor security you know do I have any hazards uh, on the steps or in the aisle uh, so these are the things you're checking in this zone you'll check each section if I had a problem with anything um, my, my driver's seat belt doesn't work I can click on that it's damaged frayed inoperative not clear or other if I hit other I actually get a keypad I can give an explanation of, of what's going on um, and this is just a, a reminder for later uh, when you're going through you can't remember um, maybe what light bulb you needed to get you had a light bulb out you can always go to your inspection report and um, it will have what what light bulb you needed we're just going to cancel and back out of here we check this zone we're going to mark all is good and we get a check mark in that zone I now go to the next zone and again if I can't remember exactly where to hold it I'm going to hit my scan help circle over circle and I get my next zone my air brakes my service brake uh, area and we're going to mark all is good and we can go to the next zone and again I can hit my help early in the morning <clears throat> you need a, a flashlight to help you I can hit my flashlight mm -hmm. and I get my light my flashlight all oh, flashlight off hit my zone help and I can go circle over circle driver side all my gauges my switches uh, my lights I'm gonna check each of those if everything's good mark all is okay and now I'm gonna go to back of bus I'm checking the interior making sure all my seats are clear all my exits are clear my back door is clear real loud John everything here is clear I got my back door um, and, and while I'm going I'm checking to make sure all that stuff was uh, operating properly and will operate properly when I'm in use I'm gonna mark all is clear so there's my four zones inside my green checks we're now going to go to the exterior yep. so outside the bus um, again we have front of bus back of bus all four tires and one under the hood so we're going to start uh, here and we got the right front and I'm checking my brakes my tires my suspension and all if everything there looks good I'm going to give a click I'll go ahead and unlock this side because I'll get under my hood when I come back front of bus checking my headlights my student arm my reflective tape everything here that I need to check if all is good I'm gonna click good and then go to the left side and again anytime you're having trouble getting a zone get your scan help get the circle over circle and the zone will pop right up and here I'm checking the left side of the bus all looks good now we're going to go to the back tire. Circle over circle. And we got our back suspension, tire, exhaust, under vehicle, windows on the side, everything that we're checking. If everything looks good, all is good. And again, if you have a problem in the area, go ahead and mark it as a problem in the area. <clears throat> That'll help you later down the road to remember you might find out you're replacing the same bulb you know uh, every month or something like that and that'll just help you uh, be a, help the maintenance of the bus a little better um, check all is good at the back So here we're at the back right wheel and we're gonna mark all is good we checked everything made sure everything looked good and we checked now we're back to the last zone now our last zone is under the hood we'll go ahead and most of our buses is going to be either on this fender well or up on the side here um, if not it will be in this zone on most buses depending on your configuration but we're gonna 
and there's under my hood my air compressor alternator belts fluids full level um, and again you want to check all these things and we're going to mark them all as good and we can now continue back inside so we've done our zones all our zones are checked we're going to go ahead and continue it's going to blue is for you anytime you see blue it's for you to read and check we're going to certify that the inspection that we just did was accurate to the best of our knowledge and we're going to submit that and it's now ready to download it <coughs> will you'll put it back in the dock bottom in first set it in and then gently push the top in and as soon as you start your bus and you're going down the road and we get connectivity it will go ahead and download that pre-trip inspection um, sometimes it doesn't do it right away uh, it may take a minute or you know depending on your location but as soon as it gets connectivity it will download that inspection so we've done our pre-trip we've done our route um, we're completed our, our first pickup and we're at the school for drop-off and it's time to do a student check we can go back to our EVA and it's going to ask us again for a, a new inspection and this time instead of pre-trip we're going to pick our student check and continue and again it's going to want to know what bus and again we're already logged in so the bus could be off at this point it doesn't need to be running but you probably will be running we're going to go ahead and get the bus <clears throat> it's going to ask for mileage again so it's keeping track of your mileage for you as well um, and we're going to go and the student check is just the one interior rear zone so when you walk to the back of the bus and check this zone it knows you walked and cleared your bus that there's no sleeping students left so we're going to go ahead and do our student check And we did our student check and again the purpose of doing that when we walk back we want to make sure we didn't have any sleeping kids on the bus um, so once we hit that button in the back it knows we we cleared uh, for our student check so we're going to mark all is okay no students left behind continue blue is for you again I verify that everything all this is accurate to the best of my knowledge submit so now once I dock it and we get connectivity it will upload the student check and again bottom in gently and roll the top in and locks it in um, and as soon as it can it will upload that again I can go back to my home screen uh, anytime I want uh, and check that out at the end of the day so you're going to do this you're going to do your student check um, uh, once you drop off at the schools and at the end of your service day and then that also at the end of your service day we're going to go back into Ever. we're back at the yard we're going to do a new inspection and now we're going to do the post trip and the post trip is exactly what we did for the pre-trip um, it's just anything that we noticed in our service day um, you know the light bulb goes out in the middle of the day or something you notice it at night it saves you a little step the next day um, so you're going to do your post trip and um, this is a introduction to the tablet uh, again any questions uh, don't hesitate to call us at the warehouse uh, contact some of the, the other drivers um, some of the other people that have been using them and have gotten pretty used to them uh, it's been a been a pretty neat tool with that said we have had some issues uh, the most common issue is we're breaking uh, and I'm not sure if it's because we're not putting them in correctly or just uh, we got bad cradles but we're breaking the the tabs down here the little ears that come up into the the charging port and the data port um, <clears throat> so if you notice it's not charging odds are we've broken a tab on the charging side or if you notice up here <clears throat> we get a lot of red so you'll notice whoop, here well let me go back 
you got the little red dashes up here that tells me that my inspections haven't downloaded um, you can get to the point where this you've got so many of them in there the tablet just won't work right because we got too much information um, that they didn't upload yet so <clears throat> when you see that like now we see it don't worry about it I know we just are seeing it because we don't have connect I'm um, probably start the bus you'll see that disappear because it uploads just that fast um, <clears throat> the um, tablet itself has been pretty durable we haven't we've only out of everybody using them so far I've had one that uh, fell on the ground and was run over <laughs> um, we've used them in the rain we've used them they've gotten wet they uh, the bus has leaked on them and they've been holding up pretty good as far as durability goes um, the biggest issue is the charging um, I've had a couple and I'm not sure if maybe because when we were cleaning with our 404, um, but I've, I've started getting some corrosion in here. Um, and I, I don't think that was from water. We're thinking maybe that was a chemical reaction on a few of them um, with, with some of the cleaner that was used. Um, but other than that, it's, it's been a pretty handy system. Um, takes the paper out of the loop your pre-trip gets uploaded automatically um, we can keep an electronic record when MSDE uh, does their audits um, we'll have all of that information for them um, so it's it's new bear with us we're working with it um, we'll get everybody up and running I hope and um, the the bus patrol can help us in Zonar can help us get the bugs worked out of their side and um, we'll, we'll get the kinks worked out of Airside, and hopefully uh, once everybody gets up and running, um, it'll be a pretty handy handy tool to have. Uh, so any questions, uh, call us at the warehouse, 410-758-0489. Um, ED, Tammy, or myself, uh, more than happy to walk you through uh, anytime you need. And um, other than that, enjoy your summer, and uh, watch this as many times as you need. And we'll see you later. Thanks a lot.